I'm Nick Reichinger from SDA Structures. Um, I'm a structural engineer. My name's Tony Mile. I'm Manager of Exhibition Services here at the Museum of Contemporary Art. I've recently worked with Tony and the rest of the MCA team on the Anish Kapoor exhibition. And we've been looking at um, how we support these very big and heavy pieces on the floors of the MCA, which weren't necessarily designed for such big loads, and also how we get some of these very big pieces into the building. Uh, to bring the Anish Kapoor exhibition here to Australia, we brought it in shipping containers by boat. Um, there were 22 containers. Um, we brought these in from various destinations around the world. The period of time it took for us to empty all those containers and get the works either onto the front lawn for the assembly of Sky Miller or upstairs into the gallery for the installation upstairs on level three or level one, we had 11 days. So it's very hard to imagine how even you can do 22 containers in 11 days, but somehow we did it. Um, what do you think was the most difficult thing that we have to deal with? Um, I think uh, memory, without a doubt, would be um, the, hardest, the hardest of the pieces for us to um, get our heads around. Um, it's, it's almost a, a, an engineering structure in itself. Uh, working out how we got it into the gallery, how we would support it on the floor. It's 24 tonnes, which is um, uh, by rights way over what the, the floor should be able to take. Once we started talking to the, um, the original engineers of memory, um, and we had started to understand how it all fits together and how it sits on the floor, then we could, we started to See, see the light, I suppose, see how we could actually support memory on, on our gallery floor. It's an extremely tight space and we had to get the sculpture to just kiss the walls. Yeah, no, it um, was like that, wasn't it? That, yeah, yeah. And, um, and there's a reason for that as well. We, there are actually props hidden within the walls which stop the, yeah. the beautiful egg-shaped um, sculpture from rolling around. Um, and another constraint um, with the sculpture touching the end wall, uh, it meant the, the piece had to be built in a completely new way. This had never been done before in, in either of the previous installs. Um, the, the blunt end, as I'll call it, yeah. of, of the sculpture which kisses the end wall had to be put in before any of the middle sections. And the extraordinary thing about memory is that in fact it was all put together in eight and a half days, which was with six people, which when you look at the object, it's, it's quite extraordinary. What, what were the issues that we really faced with that? Right, well, we always knew um, they would be problematic. Uh, five tonnes and three and a half tonnes um, a piece. Um, but quite, quite late on in the game, we realised that the, the packing wasn't included in this five tonne weight. So suddenly we weren't dealing with five tonnes at all. It was more like five and a half clip or, or more even. I, mean, I think it was about, in, in the end it was over 5.8, <laughs> I think it was. It? And um, that immediately threw up um, two big issues. First of all, the goods lift only is rated for five tonnes. Secondly, we just couldn't wheel it across the old floor um, in, in the original building. Finally, we got, we, the decision was made that we couldn't do it that way. That's and right. And then a whole other journey started, didn't it? Yes, so um, first of all we thought about taking off one of the cladding panels on the George Street um, side of the building, um, which wasn't very popular with anyone because a shiny new building, nobody wanted to make a great big hole in it. Um, the next option was to uh, take it through the skylight, which, um, which had uh, problems in itself. There's some very expensive um, glass on this skylight which diffuses the light and makes the art gallery a beautiful space. Um, but the decision was finally taken to take that bit of glass out and um, drop these two pieces through the roof. And so we had to get builders to look at how to, how to pull everything apart. So that was the structural elements, the roofing elements, the electrics and the fire protection all had to be done. This all had to be done within a week. Uh, on top of that, you had the complexity of what size crane you're going to use? Where's the crane going to go? The crane's going to go on George Street. It was going to be a massive crane. Suddenly we're going to have to block the street off. We have to get permits. It has to be done at night. This is all happening while we're doing all the other planning as well. And on top of that, when we measured it, we found that the 
The size of the hole was 1370 millimetres and the size of the crate was 1280. So you had 90 millimetres. So you had about under two inches on either side of this crate when you brought it through the skylight. And this was based on figures that we got from information received from overseas digitally. <laughs> so everybody was holding their breath because the, the thing arrived only two days before it was happening. Everybody had their tape measures out as soon as it came out of yeah. the container running up going, is it right, is it right? <laughs> it was extraordinary.